Hi, how are you? I'm doing good, thanks. How are you? I'm alright. How is Poland today? Pretty fine, thanks. <laughs> Pretty fine, thank you. Was just kind of busy today because we were running for the dancing tour tourne with Gabriela and. Uh, oh, that's great! Yeah, she's pretty active. Oh, that's great! That's excellent! That's perfect! Yep. That's how it's supposed to be done! <laughs> so, how are you? Doing great, Moshi! You know, just kind of keeping myself right now straight as I promised uh -huh. and, uh, to, my, to my commitment so I will not uh, let myself down. I can see on your face, though! Uh, I can see on your face! And, your face uh, went down a little bit more! <laughs> I see. We'll see. We'll see in half a year, Moshi, what will happen. Definitely. But you. I told you, I want you to be on the cover of my website before and after. And you mm -hmm. will be there by August for the grace of God. <laughs> I'm Let's telling see. you. I'm telling you. If you really, really do what we're supposed to do and everything that I'm telling you, and you put your dedication to it, definitely you're going to be on the page. So now... Tell me, how is the diet went? Uh, how is my diet? Actually, we're doing pretty pretty well with my husband because, you know, like I told you, we uh, decided to, 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 to move on to the healthy way of eating, mm -hmm. pre-preparing for the next day, having some more snacks. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess we're doing pretty much fine. I'm actually learning to, to cook a little bit different way how compared to this what I was doing before. Mm -hmm. um, it is not easy sometimes you come in something funny, <laughs> but I'm experiencing right now. I just do not have experience with that, but as long as it is not fried and uh, it is in the oven, mm -hmm. then it's with more veggies um we also then it's better for us so um, do you like def, hmm? how is your measurement okay i took it the measurement but i have to convert from centimeters to inches so just give me a moment i will just go online just to have this everything for you already okay just one moment um And how about the food, uh, food portions? Uh, well, I have this scoop, like I was telling you. Mm -hmm. We're trying to also put on the weight as well, just so we do not make any, you know, mistake. Uh, we still have to look through the, uh, even though we put in the, um, the uh, food into the uh, my fitness poll. Mm -hmm. I have to just kind of I guess some of them let's say uh, American uh, yellow cheese. It's similar to Gouda, but I want just to make sure that this is exactly the one. This is the same amount of calories. So I just you know I guess this is the first time in my life I'm doing calories. I never thought about. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It will be fine. <laughs> It is funny, but um, are you hungry? No. Are you sometimes? Sometimes. How how often you get hungry? Um, when I skip a snack. Ah, okay. When I skip a snack, uh, because from eight por uh, from eight times uh, from the meal of number of eight, sometimes we have only let's say four because there is a break in the between of the four hours because we either going somewhere we cannot have it or i forgot it's you know we're still getting used to today i just pre-prepared for myself some uh, carrots for snack it was i think good let's see what it will go later and how this will go later okay so let me go mm -hmm. um like for the breast uh -huh. like if i take uh, Exactly on top of my breast, it's 47 inches. Mm -hmm. Under my breast is, one moment, it's 40 inches, mm -hmm. point one. Mm -hmm. uh, moment, let me check something. 
You look tired. Because the last night was uh, he heavy for, for us and Gabriela, uh, no, Gabriela, Sara. She, she woke up very early at four o'clock. She asked for a breast and then she didn't want to go to sleep. Oh, what please. is the color of your eyes, Gosha? My eyes are blue. Yeah, I know. I never noticed that. <laughs> I just look at now and say, ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Wow, my God, it's beautiful. I never, I ne maybe I never look at you directing your eyes and look it deeper. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on my hips. Uh -huh. I said, uh, on my breast, like right here. Uh huh. Where you have put together with my breast all over. It's um forty seven inches uh -huh. under my breast, not counting my big breast one. <laughs> right now it's uh -huh. forty inches point one. Uh huh. Uh, on my hips, it is forty five inches. Mm hmm. Yep, forty five point six six, I think. Mm hmm. And then, oh, hold on, sorry. Once again, come back. Uh, hips will be different amount. Hold on, let me just a moment. Because, oh no, hips are forty eight inches point eight. Mm hmm. But and then I measure my my uh, self on my belly, uh, where where the belly button is. Mm -hmm. So it's a wrist. So this one is forty five, sixty six. Okay. So we we're trying to get these numbers down. We try to get the waist at least a thirty. Twenty between twenty eight and thirty. Put the number down. We try to get the uh, hips. Huh? The, oh, I'm, I'm going to read them once again. I have my special notepad, but my, once Gabriela is getting into it, then she's just drawing a million things. <laughs> okay. okay, we try to get the waist down to between 28 and 30. We try to get the hips down to 36. We try to get the chest down to 36. Put that down. So those are our numbers. We're trying to go there. At least over there. That will be our ratio. What are we trying to work? We, we have to have a number we're working for. Uh, oh, did you weigh yourself yesterday or today? Hold on. I'll weigh myself. But I think... One moment, okay? I'll tell you exactly because I think I kind of lost something. But let me just... Check it out once again, okay? Give me a moment. Okay. Gosha is going to weigh herself right now, but it's night today in Poland. The best time to weigh herself, it's early in the morning. After you take shower, you drop the ball, miss you dookie, or you evacuate. That's the best time to weigh yourself. So I will talk to her about it. Okay, Gosha. So, I weigh on it now. 92 kilograms before when we start talking was 94. Okay, so, so it was 94 and now it's 92. Mm -hmm. So now you weigh less than 92. You know why? Because you're supposed to weigh yourself in the morning. When you wake up in the morning, you go no, to the bathroom. Uh, I did the same thing. Um... I just was reconfirming because we did this in the morning two days ago and it was the same way. The oh, same okay. One. Yeah, you wake up in the morning, you take a shower if you, you shower morning, you drop a dookie, you go drop it, you make sure you empty and that's when you weigh yourself before you have anything to eat or drink. So, you do, you weigh yourself every once a week. I don't want you to go crazy, weigh yourself every day because that we call discouragement. So, you weigh yourself every day. And sometimes you may feel like you're gaining weight. If you do everything right, you're not gaining weight. You start building muscle and muscles weigh more than fat. You, you understand, right? 
So now, did you get the workout that told you the workout to do this week? Uh, yeah, of course. I haven't done on Saturday because uh, we were kind of busy, but because of that I did today. So instead of... Saturday. No, yesterday. So instead of Saturday, I did this today just to, to make sure that I've done everything which you told me. Okay. Did <laughs> you listen to the video that I sent to you, Alia? Uh, to the one that you just... Uh, on uh, Skype? No. Yes, yeah, Skype. Yeah, uh, I... I just uh, listened to the message you did it, uh, you, you, you sent it to me, that telling me that there is some uh, boot camp and, uh, and uh, also spinning the spinning class. class. Yeah. So I will look, uh, should I just look on... Um, okay, the, the spinning on class... The website, right? Yeah, the spinning class, the one that I, I upload for you, it's still uploading right now because I'm trying to upload as high definition, so it takes longer. So, but the bootcamp class for you, it's over there already. It say bootcamp for beginners. It's on my YouTube channel. I'm not so sure if I put it on a website yet. Before I didn't, I'm going to put it today. So, it's uh, bootcamp for beginners. I upload yesterday. I, I think you're going to see for the name of yesterday. And I want you to do that Monday and Thursday. Same workout. Monday and Thursday. And Thursday. Camp, uh, plus yeah. uh, one and a half mile, mile to, run. to run. Tuesday and Friday spinning class. That's it. Okay. Spinning right. class, so the one that I'm, yeah, the one that I'm uploading right now. That's you're going to do Tuesday and Thursday. I want you to drink the water at least at least at least at least a hundred ounces of water per day because you breastfeeding and your food go down and water it's gonna help you you're not gonna be hungry most of the time so whenever you have time whenever you go somewhere just drink something and also another thing that i i i realized from your food you say when you go somewhere, you probably you don't have food with you. I want you to start carrying like an apple or a cucumber or you carry like a banana with you. So when you go somewhere, we, after it's, one hour you eat it. It's so funny, Mushi, it's just like, uh, not like my mom, but I feel so good with you. <laughs> I'm just one step in front of you because they, we went for this show for Gabriela. Myself, I prepared for her a little sandwich so she could have. We got the nutrition bar, we got uh, apples, we got a uh, water. We were just so prepared. No, it's just like am amazing. Um, so we, we, we're getting there, Mushi. Yeah, Whatever and when saying, you come home, there. don't forget, when before you take these things, every Every morning when you work out, first thing first, you go to my fitness pal and put all this food. You're going to take the whole day. Log in everything for the whole day, early in the morning. Whatever you have left, it's not bad if you went over like two, two calories. That's why I gave you low calories because I know sometimes you may go up two to 300 calories. That's not a problem. You still, we are still on a range. Now what we're trying to do, we try to, to, to talk to your body and make it understand something is going on. And that's why I don't want to load you with a lot of workout because I want your body to understand like, okay, we are training right now. Uh, we start eating different stuff and uh, we start taking, how about sugar? I forgot to ask you. Uh, between six and eight uh -huh. spoons, flat teaspoons. Good. So that one you masters, excellent, perfect, Gosha. We're getting somewhere. I'm happy. So we, believe or not, but sometimes it's left, so it's getting to six only. So I'm also happy about that. Also. Ah, hold on for a minute. You were 94 kilogram, and now you're 92 kilogram, which is like 4.4 pounds. pounds, almost five yeah. pounds you lost uh -huh. in one week. Mm -hmm, that's what it looks. Wow. Okay, that's we getting somewhere. I thought you only lost two pounds, you lost five pounds. Wow, excellent, Gosha. I'm so happy. I can see on your face though. As soon as you sit there, say I see something on your face, I can see on your cheeks. How is your energy level? Very good, very good. I'm um, just more like you know, I'm pretty amazed about this because my husband was trying to make me to run a long time ago because he's running mm -hmm. and. I 
I don't know. I guess when I commit with someone, it's completely different. You know, husband, it's different. Husband, I know. Right? I know. I know. You know, I can scream at him. I can, you know, make him to do crazy stuff, throw things on him, and I wouldn't listen to him. But um, just something, you know, is between me and you. The chemistry, friendship, <laughs> chemistry. So it's. I know. So this is my other question. Total mile you run last week is how many miles? Oh, uh, hold on. Let me just. Um, when did I? When did I put it? Uh, okay. I want you to plug in the Today. back there. You see on the back there the little calendar. I want you to put things there on the calendar on in the back there. Uh huh. Go ahead. <laughs> hey, hold on. You know what? I have. Um, let me tell you. Um, there's there's one calendar that I actually get it. It's a fitness calendar. Uh huh. It's yeah. um, something like that. Okay, that's where we we want Gosha to look like that in the near future. Because I mean, this girl is actually it's giving you know, it's actually week by week saying what you were doing mm -hmm. and from when. Mm -hmm. So okay. I'll, I'll tell you, I'll write down over here to myself and I'll tell you what I did because I did, I was doing the same way how you were telling me. Mm -hmm. So on Monday, mm -hmm. I ran one mile. Mm -hmm. On Tuesday, mm -hmm. I uh, ran, uh, hold on, I'll tell you a moment. How much was done because... Zero point eight mile. It was just because I was running. To That's the, okay. To the, That's okay. To the swimming pool, I decided not to take the car. So like you know, let me just go get myself and I will run okay. because it's not far away. So zero point eight on Wednesday mm -hmm. there was nada, nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, on Thursday there was spinning. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on, uh, same as Monday. There, uh -huh, spinning. There was 30 minutes and there was a run uh, 30 minutes, which was one mile. No, you were telling me one and a half mile. Mm -hmm. I think I did a... Oh, hold on, let me just do something to, to make sure that I got it all. Because I try to convert to... My leg. To, yeah, so actually I was doing one and a half mile on Monday. Oh, okay. For some reason, I was just making myself to do one and a half mile. Mm -hmm. Which I told you one mile, but that's okay. That's why you lost five pounds. Go ahead. Same on Thursday. Oh, okay. On okay, there was a, on Friday. Mm -hmm. I uh, was supposed to do what was on Tuesday, which was swimming plus run. Okay, so I did this. I was swimming mm -hmm. on Friday. Mm -hmm for half an hour, half an hour mm -hmm. and I was running one and a half mile. Mm -hmm. On Saturday I haven't done much about that. Mm -hmm. And on Sunday I did I'll tell you right now, I did two miles I think. Two point uh, hold on. <clears throat> so I oh and Today I did two miles. Okay, so which means I want you to run two miles again next Saturday. Okay, so it's like three, four and a half, four and a half, uh, five point three, seven point three miles, I think. So you run seven point three miles? Uh huh. Okay. That's good miles. So you run 7.3 miles in a week. This is more than a goal because I was expecting you to run 3.5 miles last week. But you, you went over your goal, and which is very, very, very good. But this week will be a little harder because the boot camp class, it's not easy. And I don't want you to take too much rest in between. So when you follow that video, just follow as it is and try to do for the best of your ability. You see the, the workout, you're going to see some of the workout that you're supposed to be down and walk to your, to your elbow. Make sure your back is flat. See how I posture, see how my back look like, and then do it. 
my back is not as strong as it was before because of the surgery but I did to the best of my ability so at least you can have a right form you don't have to injure yourself and uh, okay. you're gonna see I say like you do bobbies you walk to your knees mountain climbing you're gonna hear exactly and if you can figure it out exactly uh, how to do it maybe you can ask your husband to show you or if you at the gym you ask one of the trainer can you show me this move how, how um, exactly I'm supposed to do it my uh, my my form is good good enough like I, I, I went over the video and I look at the video all the way to the end it's very very good so try to to um, to bear with it and follow it and then don't take too much rest and have water when you're working out at least you need at least uh, 16 ounces of water while you're working out because you work, you breastfeed. And then for running, I say you're going to run uh, one, point, one mile, I say, right? 1.5 or 1? Mm -hmm. I told you to run one mile, right? Mm -hmm. Your Monday, yeah. The but so yeah because i see you can run better now so after you finish working out you can run 1.5 miles let's change because you, your last mile was 7.3 so let's try to have 7.3 or let's try to have eight miles this week okay eight miles this week so try to maybe 1.5 on monday and then uh Thursday 1.5 which is gonna be three and then uh, Saturday no we're not gonna have that it's gonna be too much because you have two spinning classes just keep five and then uh, uh, Saturday do two miles so Monday 1.5 Thursday 1.5 Saturday do two miles we will increase the following week don't rush take it easy I want you to go slow you're gonna lose weight anyway you understand right Mm -hmm. you're gonna lose weight anyway and then do those two boot camps on Mondays and Wednesday before you run and then do those spinning classes uh, Tuesdays and Fridays and if you can you can Monday. swim hold on Bush, sorry to interrupt you Monday and Wednesday to put Thursday you were saying huh Monday and Thursday boot was Monday and, oh yeah because we were just saying Wednesday. Yeah, Monday and Thursday, boot camp and running, 1.5 mile. Uh -huh. And then uh, if you run on a treadmill, uh -huh. where are you going to run? Outside or on a treadmill? It depends on the weather because um, on today I did outside because it was nice weather. It was like 2 degrees or, or 3 degrees. It was not raining. It was pretty much fine. So I prefer to run outside than on treadmill. Because I feel like a horse in the <laughs> treadmill. <you know? laughs> I hear you. Don't worry. In one place. So on a on a if you run outside is best, but if you run on a treadmill, put incline, incline of two, two or two point five incline. Don't run on a flat level. For your knee protection, okay. because you need to and take it slow. Don't rush. Just Did you run. Say only two or. Two or two point five. Don't go beyond that. It's too much. Two or two point five incline. Okay. If you okay. run on a treadmill, but if you run outside, I prefer outside too. Outside is the best. No, I have a place actually to run right now, so it's it's good and safe. And yeah, safe I prefer place. outside. Absolutely, outside is bravo. I like outside. And then uh, we try to have uh, five. We're gonna do only five miles. Don't go crazy. We will increase next week to five, six, seven. We will increase next week to seven miles. And we're gonna have your two spinning classes, and I will have two other advanced bootcamp classes for you. So don't worry. It's not that I'm taking you slow, but I want you to to not to get tired, not to to say a oh, screw Nima. She calling me now. Ah. I don't even want her phone call because this thing is painful. I don't want that. I want you to enjoy. I want you to, to, to do the workout. And you, you, you see, you see, you lost five pounds is a lot here in America. If somebody lose five pounds in one week, it's a lot. We have, I think you know, you've been here before. You know how it is to lose five pounds. So you did five pounds. In America, I gain every shit I, <laughs> I know our food is terrible, so you know how it is. 
um, to lose, you, 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 you didn't lose that weight in the wrong way. You were eating, you are not hungry, you're not starving, you're working. How is your milk? Because last time you told me it was good. How is it now? Um, you mean breastfeeding milk? Yeah. No, it's fine. I mean, it's not the same. Like, uh, since I, uh, since I give birth to Sarah, right? Mm -hmm. It was always a little bit less than with Gabriella. It mm -hmm. was maybe just because it, it is the difference five and a half years. Mm -hmm. But, um... It's a little bit different, but it, it is okay. I think it, because I'm drinking more uh, water right now and less coffee, mm -hmm. that's a big advantage for mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. and for the baby. So I'm actually trying to not to drink more than three coffees. And so if you, the mornings on the mid and late. I will late. say this. If you're able to cut down your coffee because of the sake of the baby, you don't want to shovel the baby with all those caffeine. I will really appreciate. Try to replace with water. Try to re replace with maybe a uh, flavor. Yeah, you can have coffee once once in the morning or sometimes midday, but not three cups in a day. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Yeah. Water, water, water. Try to drink every minute you get. Water, water, water. You, you don't have anything to do. If you can put yourself to sleep, I cannot do that. I have to, to struggle to go to sleep. If you don't have anything to do and you can put yourself to sleep and uh, the babies are sleeping and you look around, you, you have 10, 15 minutes, take a quick nap, bam. You wake up, the baby wake up, you just try to sleep. Sleep and water, that's what's going to make you have milk. It's not about food, you know. In Africa, where I come from, we believe that when a mother is new mother, they have to eat a lot to have milk. That's not true. You need water, you need all the nutrition, and you need sleep. You will have milk. <sighs> no, I believe on And this. now you're working out, they even more. You will have even more milk than you can never imagine. But you have to cut off coffee because coffee dehydrates you. Coffee is dehydration. That's why you, you, your milk decreases. And I don't believe when you have Gabriella used to drink a coffee that much. Maybe it's the Poland thing. People like coffee because it's Ameri cold. Americans love coffee. You know that. <laughs> they do, but uh, fortunately, you know, Gosha have never been comfortable around coffee. Even uh, been here how many years? Fifteen years. I've never been comfortable around coffee, and I, I don't drink coffee. Like once in blue moon, like somebody's having coffee, then I'm having coffee. Like. Or maybe I didn't poop. I take coffee, help me to poop. I don't know, people say, oh, how come I get dehydrated with coffee? No, coffee let make me go. <laughs> and, oh, another thing that I try to tell you. When you wake up in the morning, I want you to have uh, 20 ounces of water before you do anything. After you brush your teeth, if your toothbrushes or if you don't, whatever. Before you touch anything. After you drop in the bathroom, you take shower before you eat anything. I want you to have 20 ounces of water before anything, 20 to 24. Every morning, before anything, 20 to 24 ounces. If you can drink up to half a liter, I will be happy. One liter, I think. One liter, I will be happier. But 24 ounces, that's the minimum. 20, 24 ounces, that's the minimum. My goodness. You, we will increase little by little because right now I drink a, a one liter of water every time I wake up. So we start with 20 ounces and then uh, what, uh, next week we increase to 25 or 30 ounces. We increase it to the point that you're able to drink one liter when you wake up and that will be our goal, ultimate goal. Mm -hmm. That's going to help you to detoxify you give you energy for the whole day and make you feel good the whole day, believe me. And also suppress your hunger, so you're not going to be hungry often. Okay. You got it? So, comprende, mama? Comprende. You speak Spanish now? Oh, not yet. <laughs> me, no I, way. I, you were learning when you were here. What happened? Ah, oh, please. Don't tell me. No, it's just you know, it's the culture you are living in, then you are speaking that language. I mean, it, we, 
my husband and I, we, we talk to each other in English, but uh, more often the Polish uh, is popping out because uh, he learned Polish already. He speaks fluently Polish. Wow. Maybe he may not say something uh, correctly or properly to the end. It's just because uh, yeah, I sometimes know. he may say some to to the female, thinking about the male and the other way around, because that's the way Polish language is. It's pretty mm -hmm. hard. It's one of the hardest languages. But he has learned, so he's doing a good job, and he didn't go to school for it. He just learned through his work. Wow. His work did not uh, expect from him to, to know the Polish, because wherever, whatever, uh, where he was working, he just needed to have English and Spanish, so he didn't need to. And uh, so far, he, he He's did a good, good job. Yeah. And if I move to some more Spanish country speaking, I, then I will pick it up. It's not like that, you know, unless you have lots of money or a uh, commitment that you have to learn because you're going somewhere, then yes. But wow. because there's, let's say, we, we don't see this at this moment to uh, move for, to Mexico or somewhere Spanish speaking country. Either there it's English. For and Spanish, and for for the girls, just so they have it for themselves. Okay, I got you. So now let's wrap it up. I wanted to tell you something because I reviewed the videos on your website. I think you misunderstand. There is one thing that um, definitely you misunderstood about the jelly. Mm. Uh, it is just regular. We have all, also the gel in the glass container, the same way like in this day. If you have to control your meals, you conquer it all. Because we all have addiction. I have food addiction. I'm not lying to you. You can see me. I get skinny today. Two, three days, I'm blown up. I have, like, when I was going through this surgery, it wasn't necessary for me to eat. I could just go have my surgery and continue with my nutrition plan. But guess what? Oh, I'm going for surgery, or oh, I'm depressed, or oh, I'm this, or start chewing, 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 eat, 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 eat. I gain the weight back. You see? And now, last week, I already dropped three pounds. Just last week. So, I have food problem. And once you realize where the problem is, that that's the cure. You know, oh, every time you remember, you know what? I have food problem. Let me be careful. I have food problem. Let me be careful. Once you see food somewhere, some places I don't go. Because I, can pro pro I cannot pr protect myself. I cannot prevent myself from eating. There's some restaurants I cannot walk in. And because I'm going to eat. I love it. I love food. I don't know. The people who can handle food, they look at food and be like, ugh. I look at food and be like, yeah, that's me. I'm not lying. And I'm not ashamed to say because there's a lot of people out there struggling with the same problem. It's a problem. It's here. It's not even here. It's not even in the stomach. It's here. It's an addiction. It's like, yeah, like yeah. the way people are addicted to alcohol, the way people are anorexia, the way people are bulimia. It's addiction. It's here. It's not here. It's not in the stomach. It's here. And once you're able to control here, that's it. And I'm able to control more when I'm not at home. Like when I'm home, I eat bad, poorly eater. But when I'm away from home, like if I'm in school or I'm at work or something, it's best for me. I'm home because my refrigerator is always a full. I eat it. To the point that now I don't buy things that are not necessary. I only buy things that are on my meal plan. If something is not on my meal plan, I don't eat it. I don't buy for my house. Maybe we buy snacks here and there when we're outside, but I don't do that. Because what? I know I have a problem. I'm going to go and sneak and eat it. I'm going to eat it. I, I can't help it. Nobody is telling me. Even if somebody is here telling me, don't eat it. I don't listen because I make my own judgment. I make my own choices. So what happened to me is I work more because I already know now sometimes food overpower me. So what I do is I work more because I have the willing, the willpower of working out. I tore myself and even if I eat a little bit more calories, at least I burn a lot of calories in my workout. So mm -hmm. yeah, normally what I'm trying to do with you now, I'm trying to bring you to the point that we will start burning minimum of four or five hundred calories each day. 
so once you do your boot camp class or you do your muscle because we will go to the point that you will start lifting weight and do the the way to build up more muscle not there yet because we have to to prepare your body for that so once you come to to the point that you start lifting weight or your body is ready i see now you're ready we're gonna start push yourself to burn at least 400 calories either on a spinning bike or on uh, uh running you run until you burn 400 calories then you stop so one thing that you're gonna need you're gonna need later now is not necessary you can start making plans for it you see this watch uh -huh. this is polar watch this okay. is for heart rate monitor so i wear this and i wear one band here under my chest and it reads how many calories I burn. So we will come to the point that you will just just do calories. But weight is necessary because we don't want flabby once you lose weight. You understand, right? Yep. Yeah, we do not want flabby once you start losing weight. Tell me one thing about the boot camp. Because uh, boot camp is a running no or it's more exercising it's more exercising jack and jabs uh will be squats will be lunges will be some i didn't do push-ups because i know right now you cannot do push-ups but i do something that it's gonna help you to strengthen in your back your shoulders and your core at the same time so i try to go around the push-ups and give you other stuff that you can do instead it's stationary workout so you need a room you can even do inside the house when sarah is sleeping in the other room you can for do in another room the boot camp huh for how long is the boot camp then? i think it's 45 minutes if i'm not wrong 40 45 minutes no i will just so i will plan it yeah, 40, 45 minutes. When she's sleeping, she, you just put her right to sleep. You can still do it at home, just there. And when your husband is home, that's when you take off, you go around before you cool down. Uh -huh. Yeah, you go, you take off, you go running. When you go running, you go with the babies or what do you do? No, when I'm going running, my husband is with the baby. Oh. There will be a time that I will be taking her also with me, but not yet. You know, we just we it's just a little bit too cold, and I don't want her to to get sick. We do have a stroller actually, the one that we get for Gabriela, the running stroller. So it is for running actually, and the kid. But uh, she's already because she's having enough months. But uh, because it's a little bit too chill at this moment, so I'm afraid of her to be sick. So. I better leave her with my husband, so she's fine. But in in May there is going to be a five kilometers uh, run, family run. Which is I'm like five going, kilometers is like how many miles? Uh, three, five kilometers is going to be I think three point one mile. Yeah, don't worry about that. May you're gonna be running ten miles. Believe me, May. Yeah, oh, you will I be running ten leave. miles. Believe me, we're here. Knock on the wood, nothing happened. You'll be running 10 miles on May. May. 10 miles. 10. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and oh, you won't no. even feel pain. Because we, we're going to do it slow. Less painful as possible. Because that's why I say this week, I only want you to run just 5 miles only. We just take it slow, just like that. I don't want you to exceed those miles. I want you to enjoy this. I want uh -huh. you to know, oh, this week I got my workout this, I got my workout that, I got my workout that. The only heavy day for you, it's going to be it's gonna be Monday and Thursday. Those are going to be tough days because you have to do the boot camp and then you have to run at the same time. And Saturday, Tuesday, Friday... That will be easy days for you because it's only spinning days and then you have... I want to make you use to the spinning classes too because those, they're very good to burn calories. And also, you create strength in your legs, thighs, uh, your lower body, your core becomes stronger. And also, it's the best way to, to, to increase your cardiorespiratory endurance. Should I go for swimming? Because let me tell you, I went two days for swimming also. 
and it was a good day. F- I mean, my back and my neck was hurting me like hell, but I guess it was actually just getting my body to swim and because I was having a back pain. Seriously, it's just because lots of weight, my breast, heavy breast also, everything, lifting uh, Sara that she doesn't want to get off from me because she wants to be carried everywhere. I told you to keep her heart she, down. She's not going to die. Gosha, did you hear anybody child die because they cry? Sometimes no, you got to put them on the side. No, yeah. I know it hurts. We have a, swing, to, we have a chair. We have a Mat, mat, you know, with the alphabets and so on that she can lay down. But you know, when she's fussy and she's, it's just my heart breaking. You know? I know, but sometimes you have to 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 close your eyes and say, you know what, Sarah, you're not gonna die, baby. That's good for you. Your lungs are opening. Your heart is getting stronger. Just cry. It's good for you, baby. Then you go to another room. Once you think like that. It's going to be easy. She's going to start getting used to that. Mama is not going to carry me when I'm crying. You know what? If I behave, I'll be a good kid. Mommy going to carry me. She's so actually she's... just right now trying to manage it. That's why we have to work harder on that. And it's so hard for us. Seriously. <laughs> so I will, there, first I think there. I will correct the, um, the jelly slice to put that is slice is jelly on this piece of slice of bread. And then also... Uh, we wrap it up now. We, we're going to do uh, running 1.5. Monday, we're going to do boot camp and running 1.5 miles. Uh, mm-hmm. Thursday, we're going to do boot camp and running 1.5 miles. Tuesday and Friday, we're going to do spinning classes. Saturday, we're going to run. You want to swim? You can swim on Saturday and then you can run if you can. If you can't, don't worry about it. That's enough workout for now. I will do it. Yeah, if you can, if you want to do it, just on Saturday. Don't mix on these other days. These other days, I want you to focus on this workout and make sure you work this workout to the end. So for spinning classes, because I'm not so sure if you know how to set yourself up or not, I, le- I, I describe how to, to, to set yourself on the seat, on the chair. And once you spin, your butt hurt, stand up. Don't get hurt. Listen carefully to the instructions how to set your bike and how to stay in the second position and the third position and the first position. I describe everything how to do it. Okay. Yeah, your tushy hurts because you sit too long, just stand up. But I try to, to put comb of everything. A lot of standing up, less of sitting down because most people complain of the body pain. So if you can sit, you can sit. But make sure you finish this workout. Even if you I'll just the <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't help once you spin for like probably four or five times it will be okay it will be okay but you just you know if the beginner uh, I, I, I want how does it look like because on the, the videos that we're having on YouTube or you have on YouTube even though you're saying on the beginners and then advance you just bike in like so fast i don't know how you're doing this motion it's just like flying for me yeah you know what do you increase the resistance not really sure okay I mean, you, when you i say hard. increase the resistance two turns to the right increase the resistance now i'm telling you when you do the bike there's levels once you go to the bike take the bike resistance off all the way to the left completely off and then increase until you feel a grip. Like you, you yourself and your bike and your ground. Like you feel like you're pushing, you're outside riding a bike. I think you know the feeling of riding a bike on a flat surface. Get that from indoor bike. If the wheel rotating for you is not good, make sure you get the feel of pushing a little bit. And once you, you get that feel, you work from there. You get it, right? Because uh, so then at the first time when I was doing with the resistance, it was on zero. So I was having so fast. To me, you mean it's supposed to be at a higher level so that it's much harder for me to push. I get it. Is that right? <laughs> it's, yeah, it's not going to be harder to push. It's good for your knees. Okay. Not very hard. Make okay. sure you feel like you push like you're outside. You know how you, you feel when you push the bike on the ground level outside? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, you feel that way. So just listen to my instructions. Once you listen, just follow them. You will be just fine, Gosha. I believe you. You will be just fine. And probably next Sunday, I want to talk to you again on Wednesday if possible. I want to know how you feel. I want to know if you drink your water the way I want you to drink your water. First, you didn't tell me how much water you drink. Yeah, yeah, because you breastfeed. I want you to have 12 glasses of water, like 8 ounces. And then I want you to have uh, 20 ounces of water first thing you wake up in the morning. We have to boost the milk. We have to boost your energy. We have to suppress the hunger. That's how we do it. There's no any other medicine. No any other medicine. That's the only way we're going to do it. And rest. That's it. That's all I want you. So we already have the workout. So we will meet again on Wednesday. Hopefully you will drop something. I want you to weigh yourself at least three, four days. Don't do every day because that is annoying sometimes for you. You get annoyed with it. Do at least every three, four days. Once a week, that's recommended, like the day we're going to meet. And before you weigh yourself, make sure it's early in the morning. You evacuate your stomach. Uh, you, you don't eat anything at that moment. Oh, by the way, another thing I forgot to tell you. When you go to pee at night, when you go to pee at night, you drink a glass of water. Okay. You understand what I'm saying? If you go to use the bathroom at night to pee, you take a glass of water with you. You drink a glass of water after or before you pee. That's okay. That's okay. So Funny because during the um, breastfeeding at this morning with Gabriela, when I was uh, Gabriela Sara, when I was breastfeeding her in the night, um, I you know I breastfeed her, I put her down to the crib, and I, of course I was going to the to the bathroom. I always I always have on my uh, cabinet like a glass of tea, or no water not, but the tea, no yeah a glass of water or tea. Then it's basically makes me so much thirsty. But during the breastfeeding, you feel much more thirsty also. So that's... Yeah, I want you to have a glass of water every pee you go. If you use the bathroom, even in the daytime, after you pee, straight to the to the water. If it's in your kitchen or whatever, chip mm -hmm. a glass. Every time you use the bathroom, replace it. That's how we do it. Okay. Because Sarah drink at least the half of your water. And you need that water too for you to lose weight. Okay. you understand right yeah we need to clean those toxic so we can lose weight so that's it for today so gosha and i'm glad i spoke to you i got a lot of homework to do too and i need to finish some few stuff to do okay. and then for the grace of god i will talk to you again wednesday i'm free but okay oh i what forgot what is no go ahead wednesday uh two o'clock american time two 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 thirty to three thirty. I'm going to have a live live streaming you a spinning class. Uh -huh. But I know at that time you will be home sleeping. It's not it's not beneficial for you. Two thirty p.m. American time. You will be sleeping. It's night there. No, for me it's going to be seven thirty or nine thirty. 9.30, I think. No, 8.30, 8 9.30. Yeah, six hours difference. Yeah, so you will be uh, you will be sleeping or something, so you won't be able to bene get benefit of it. But I will have live streaming, and Sunday, 12.30, American time, I will have another live streaming for spinning class also. But where would you have that? Huh? Where would you have that? There will be on a YouTube live streaming. Like you will be able to see them live when I'm performing them. Yeah? Yeah. I didn't know that you can even see that live spinning. Yeah, but also I will save them so you will find them later if you're going to miss the live streaming. Okay, I'll check it out this. 
Okay, hon. So just say hi to your husband and your kids. Your husband went to work, right? Yeah. Oh, no. At night? The whole night? He, uh, not whole night, but from he went a little bit later because of Gabriela's performance. Uh, so he should be home, I don't know, 12, 1, 2. Oh, he don't. And also, another question.